How's it going guys, it's Root Junkie here, and some of you may know, I was down in Hearst, Texas at the Big Android Barbecue, it's my shirt from there right there, and it was a lot, a lot of fun. While I was down there, I got to talk to Oppo, and they actually hooked me up with an Oppo R7 Plus. So today, I'm really excited to check this thing out, do a review of it, and let you know my feelings on it. Since this is brand new to me, I've never had any of their products before, um, that's what we're going to do today. So let's go check it out. Let's open this bad boy up. So we'll slide out the sleeve right there, set that to the side, and open the box. There you go, there is the device. So this is actually um, the gold model, which is pretty cool. Let me dump this thing out in my hand. Yeah, check that out. Oh yeah, very, very nice. So we'll set that on the side right now. Let's see what else we have in here. So we have a SIM extraction tool, and it looks like, ooh, yeah, check that out. I love it when manufacturers do this. I always buy a case anyway, and that's really cool. So it does come with a case for the device. Now, this isn't like some fancy, super expensive case, but um, it will protect your device. So I'm really happy about that. I like that a lot. That came right there with that sim injection or extraction tool. So we do have a power brick that comes with this. Now this is a you know foreign power brick. It's not obviously not a U.S. power brick, um, but let's see what it does have. We've got oh my goodness, five volt output at four amp, four amps. Oh my word, that's a huge power brick. That is yeah ridiculous. So we'll set that to the side. Then we have our USB cable. So pretty standard. Um, a little green in there, which is kind of cool. Um, nicely wrapped up, too. That's actually a very nice presentation. And then we have some um, headphones with, it looks like, a little button for mute or something and a mic pickup on it. So just standard headphones. I mean, I'm sure they're not anything too impressive. But that is basically everything we have in the box there. Now, something I want to show you guys here, which is pretty sweet, is some of the uh, specs on this thing. So if you look right here on the back, this has a 6-inch device, 13-megapixel rear camera, 8-megapixel front camera. This spec, look at that, battery, 4,000 milliamp hour battery. That's ridiculous. I love this. I love battery life in phones. I love huge batteries. This is, like, awesome. Super awesome. Now, it does actually say 4,100 down here, and I'm not sure what these little min and type mean. Not certain exactly. I would just say it's in that range, I guess, is maybe the best way to look at that. Maybe somebody can clarify. Um, right down here, you actually have the different um, networks, GSM, LTE, different bands that it, it, uh, it, it handles. So you can see that information right there as well. So if you're looking for this maybe as a phone you might want to use, just make sure you're, it's going to work on your network or your carrier. Um, this does not work so well on in U.S. It probably work on 3G and below, um, 4G. Um, or LTE, I should say, it's probably not going to always work in the U.S. But look at there, right there, you can look at the bands, 1, 3, 5, 7, and 8. Um, so, anyway, I did get it working on 3G for me. Um, put my SIM from T-Mobile in it, and it was functional. So, let's check out this device. So, everything we've got here is uh, pretty nice. There's a 13 megapixel camera, LED, does have a fingerprint scanner. Yes, lovely fingerprint scanner. So just like the new Nexus 6P, here's mine in a case. Um, a lot of these devices are going with fingerprint scanners. It's like the wave of security. Um, so I'm excited to see how this one works and if it's uh, as quick as the Nexus uh, 6P. Uh, otherwise, you have, looks like, a back-facing speaker. So you are going to have to do your hand cup while you um, listen to YouTube or whatever. Uh, mainly that's what I do on my I'm a lot of YouTube on here. So other than that, um, flip around the side, we do have um, our volume up and down right there. So that's going to be on the left with your thumb. Other side, you have your power button, and then you have your SIM tray. So let's actually take a look at the SIM tray. I'm pretty sure, let's see, we'll do it, we'll try it. Yes, yes it does. So this is very cool. So you have a SIM tray, and then you have an SD card slot or SIM 2. So you can have two SIMs, or you can have one SIM and an SD card. 
So I, I like that. I like SD card storage, and I'm really happy that it is on this device. Um, otherwise, on the top here, you can see you have a headphone and a mic pickup. There is this different color tint right here on the top and the bottom, which is interesting. I'm assuming that's a different kind of um, material for the speakers to go through, or not the speakers, but the radios to work through, your cellular radios. The rest of this is in a brushed, basically like a brushed aluminum. It's very clean, very clean. So there you go. This is a very premium feeling device. It's, it's a little bit heavy, um, which I actually like. I like that. I think it feels solid. Um, just really looking forward to it. The other thing that I'd like to point out here on the front is you do have your earpiece, obviously, front-facing camera. This thing comes pre-installed with a screen protector on it, and um, it's actually a pretty good screen protector. It's it's solid. It's not really cheap, and it's and it's applied very well. Um, you do have the uh, uh, Oppo uh, branding on there as well, so that's good. So, other than that, let's uh, turn this thing on and fire it up and see what we got software-wise. So, we'll uh, power it up. There it is. Oppo right there powered by Android. Now, I'm, I'm just really curious to see how they decided to do Android. I mean, every every OEM does them a little bit differently. And is it going to have theme engines? And is it going you know, what kind of features are we going to be getting in their experience? I mean, just like Samsung has TouchWiz, um, you know what I mean? ALG has, has their style. HTC's got their stuff. So this is Oppo. So, Let's unlock it, and it does look like I've already set up the fingerprint scanner, so let's see just how quickly it functions. If I can get it, oop, there it is. Wow, that was pretty pretty quick. You actually can't really feel the fingerprint scanner like you can feel it on the Nexus 6P. You know, it's, it's at least for here because of the case, it's, it's just always very easy to find it. Um, it. This one's very flush. You don't really feel it when you touch it on the back. So let me just turn up the brightness a little bit. I think it's a little dim. So here you go, fingerprint scanner. You can see, obviously, it was preset up. I had messed with it a little bit before, and um, it's very, very fast. So that was quick, but it just, like I said, it's it's hard to find. It doesn't have any real cutouts for it. You just got to feel below the uh, camera and just hope your finger kind of rubs against it. Um, so let's go ahead and just kind of skim through this. So you do have a music player here, all all dedicated on the one side. And I've done a little bit of setup with this. But let's just check out a couple quick things. So down here on the bottom, you have your home button, your back button, and you have this button. And this brings up this theme engine that's built into it, which is actually pretty cool. What you can do in here is you can click on themes. And you can see there's two different themes. Um, let's just, like for example, click on the basically it's like the stock Android theme is what I would call it. And it'll go ahead and apply that theme. And you can see this experience looks very much like stock Android. Even the wallpaper is that stock uh, Android look. You can hold down the screen and get back to themes as well. Go back. You can apply it again back to the original other theme. And I know you can even come in and look for more themes. You also have effects. So if you want to change the way your wallpapers um, transition, uh, you can do that. So here's card effect. So see it shows it to you. There's a flipping. It's actually really cool the way that you get previews of this. Now, a lot of custom launchers have this already, um, and even some stock launchers have it. But I just like I like that it's built in to their launcher. So that's just a nice effect. Otherwise, you got wallpapers, you got widgets, and you can apply them all from here. So that's all accessed with this little menu button right here on your home launcher. Pretty nice. Um, other than that, let's see. The, the other thing that's, that's weird about their launcher, though, is their apps and I've actually done something to condense them technically you don't have an app drawer so what I've done to condense their apps because it, I like it better is I put them all in a folder and I put them in the corner so it's just like an app drawer so you can pretty much get to all of your apps right here by just opening up this folder otherwise they're gonna be all over the phone just like an iPhone so if you like that better you can do that I just don't the only thing that's going to be different is when you go in here, you're not going to have all your apps because if they're already on the home screen, they're obviously not going to be in the app drawer. They're not going to be in, or not app drawer, but the app folder. So, so basically, that's just the way you got to look at it with this. Um, but this is a good workaround. If you want to keep the stock launcher and all the theme features, you can do it this way. The thing I want to point out is I was talking a little bit about a game that they had us playing. Let's see. It is here. They had us playing this Vucus game to win phones it was ridiculous it was actually kind of fun though because like everybody was playing there was like 50 people playing 
So it was actually kind of fun, but you know, it is what it is. So let's look through some of the other applications that this comes with. You do have backup restore, calculator, clock, you know, kind of standard stuff. Lock now for some security stuff, the cloud service that they offer, security service they offer. The theme store where you can download more themes. Now, I think if I remember right, let's see here, online themes. I don't know if I remember. Yeah, so I'm not connected to my network right now. That's why it's not going to let me. But I think I, there was even something about it being like more for like a foreign market. So in the U.S., the themes weren't all there. But um, yeah, it is what it is. So we'll keep looking here. Theme engine. So they have this cleaner, clean memory. It's just like this button you press and it cleans the memory out. Wipes like cache and stuff like that. It is what it is. They do have a flashlight application right there. You can use system updates uh, built in right there. I think that was just about all of it. And then some Google applications. You can see all those. Sound recording. Um, let's go ahead and check the pull down. So this is actually kind of nice. I like this pull down. You do have, you kind of saw this earlier. You do have some features, but then if you swipe it again, you can get to even more. Again, you have your flashlight up there. Uh, power save mode, airplane, data, vibrate. Again, you have this end all. So this is gonna end all your recent running applications. So basically it's gonna end all your applications. So anything that's running in the background, you can hit end all and it's gonna kill all your background processes to try to save on memory and battery and so on and so forth. So you have that built in there. Calculators built in, which is a little bit unusual for me. Um, GPS, rotation, Wi-Fi, it's all basically right here. So we can go in here also, and that's going to load up our settings. So in settings, I don't think there's anything too blown out or unusual. You do have the fingerprint sensor right here, and you can come in here and adjust fingerprint things. You can add more fingers. So I have one fingerprint on there right now. You saw me unlock with it earlier. A um, bunch of different little settings you can get to. See what else is in here. Application, default applications, battery and storage. So you can see battery, how much storage you got left. This is the 32 gigabyte model, although which gives you about 22 gigs. So you can see that right there as well. Otherwise, let's see what Android version. So this is this is unique. So Oppo, they go ahead and they use this Color OS. So that's what you're actually running is their their version of Color OS. So this is version 2.1. And it's actually based on Android version 5.1.1, which is a lollipop. You can see you have an octa-core processor. You have 3 gigs of RAM. Again, here's your total space and your available. You can see that again, 32 gig model. Um, different information. Oh, if you want to turn on developer mode, it tells you how to do that. Tap a bunch of times on the number right there. So there's some cool things in here. System updates if you want to check for that. So not, not too bad. Then you can come over here and go into sounds, ringtones set up all this kind of stuff, display, brightness, wallpaper, how quickly it turns off. Ooh, battery percentage, I like that. So I'll put battery percentage up there. Yeah, just just kind of skimming stuff, daydream mode, so. But yeah, that's pretty much kind of the specs on this. Um, I'm assuming the camera's pretty good. I'm gonna take a quick pitch, couple pictures here and show you guys those. So for the camera, let's go ahead and launch it and I'll take a couple quick pictures just to show you the speed of it. Um, very quick focusing is very fast so that's pretty cool but then you can come in here into the gallery and let's uh, flip it around this way so you can see it so you can see different pictures um, but let me go ahead and show you oh so there's one so that's a tablet I have pretty cool you can zoom in let's see how well you can zoom in so the detail is actually pretty good Shows you the uh, background of that tablet really, really well. Oh, there, finally it flipped for me. And let's uh, check another one here. Let's see if I can get this one to flip. Ah, check that. So this is actually an Android guy that I got from uh, Jamba Juice while I was at that big Android barbecue. So that was really fun. That's another one I have right there. So really, really cool. Um, you can see Zoom. I mean, it takes really good pictures. I mean, these are these are nice quality pictures. You're not getting really any grain or anything even as you zoom in so 13 megapixel camera does work really really well but yeah that's interesting that's cool for rotation it just makes too much sense look at that very very nice <laughs> that's really cool oh back to the camera so not not bad not bad at all um it does have front facing camera you can flip it around right there you can see me talking to my camera take a picture of that 
Man, that front facing camera looks amazing too. I'm very close and that actually looks really, really good. So pretty cool. Yeah, not bad at all. So I'm looking forward to it. I mean, I want to play with this thing. This is a nice product. I'm probably going to do some development on it. Um, if I can find anything online, I'm assuming I'll be able to find some stuff. We'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. But if you're interested in that, let me know. Leave a comment in the video description and down below. But there you go. That's going to wrap it up for me and the Oppo R7 Plus. Hope you guys like this review, and we'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie out.